So yeah, there's this ancient um, debate between uh, mathematicians and basically everybody else uh, <laughs> whether one equals 0 0.999, etc. Uh, and I hope to convince you that it actually equals each other uh, in three minutes or less. The reason why I'm aiming for three minutes or less is that I maybe need some counseling to do afterwards if you have <laughs> math anxiety. So if you feel any dizziness or shakiness, come uh, see me afterwards. So the, the reason or the, the most arguments you are, is it's almost quite one, but not quite one. Um, it tends to be one, but not quite one. Um, there's a small difference at the end of all these nines. Uh, no, it's just equal one, and let's see why. So uh, let's talk about fractions. Um, does anybody know the fraction for this number? One over two. One over two, sorry. That's uh, one over two correctly. But why is that one over two? Does anybody know? I've got still four months left, I guess. <laughs> now, so let's, let's examine why uh, to, to look at a different sample. So does anybody know the fraction for this number? No. no. Okay, so why do you know that it's true? So l let's uh, examine that. So let's name it, name it x, because let's face it, mathematicians love to call things x. Um, if you multiply x with 100, you get 37. And if you divide that, um, you get x and also the fraction for that. So th this is reasonable, isn't it? Yeah, so, so let's, let's get a tougher question. Uh, for the people who shouted out the, the last fraction, what's the fraction for this number? <laughs> yeah, so, so, so I just told you an algorithm, so let's, let's follow the algorithm. If you call things an x, because let's face it, mathematicians love to call things <laughs> x, and you multiply by 100 just by shifting the, the you see there's a, a tail left over that you need to work with. But remember, x was the 37, 37, 7. So if we subtract those, on the left side you get 99x, and on the right side the till just disappears. So you get 99x is 37, so the fraction for that is 37 99th. Um, so let's do this for the other number that we're interested in, 0 0.99999. So let's call this x, because let's face it, mathematics like, like to call things x. Uh, if you multiply by 10, the decimal point shifts to one point, you have some till left over. Well, again, you know something that is the till. If you subtract those things, 9 times x is 9. If you divide those, you get 1. So I hope you all agree now that 99.9 equals 1. And thank you. <laughs>